Okay, good uh, morning, everybody. First alert weather day tag. We have it on this evening, tonight, and tomorrow's weather as a developing tropical system uh, is expected to turn into a tropical storm and then go right up eastern North Carolina and eastern Virginia. That would bring heavy rain and strong winds. We have a power outage uh, potential, also flooding potential. Something that's not a zero percent risk is a risk of maybe some tornadoes, depending on where the storm track goes. If it goes farther to the east, the concern is exceedingly low for us. If the storm track goes more up the I-95 corridor, we have to watch for the potential. It's a possibility that we could have an isolated tornado or two. Um, this is from the Storm Prediction Center. See the area in green? This is tomorrow. Actually, apologies here. This shouldn't say today. This is tomorrow's map. So tornadoes are possible both tonight and tomorrow. The chances are not really that high, but it is something we're going to be watching for. So the NBC 12 weather app would be a great tool just to make sure you get those alerts if they are issued either tonight or tomorrow. So today's 73. Today's not a bad day. It's not going to be pretty. We're going to have clouds pretty much all day long, but uh, 74 degrees at three. The rain chance is very low at three starts to pick up more toward five, six, seven o'clock. Um, our high temperature in the low 70s. It'll be below average. Winds right now are light and coming out of the north. Get used to a northerly breeze. We're going to have it for the next few days here. Rain change today at 5 o'clock is up to 30%, but before that is quite low. So a lot of folks outdoors working today have a totally dry day with that rain chance building as we head into this evening and tonight. Rain chance up at 95% tonight, you know, close to 100% rain chance tonight. The overnight low at about 60. Tomorrow the temperatures barely climb. We climb into the mid 60s. The rain chance again close to 100%. Rain and wind. And tomorrow is when we could have those big wind gusts, in particular through the first part of the day. They could gust to 40 miles an hour and then the wind slow, but they gradually slow down um, toward evening tomorrow. So here's today's forecast at 5 o'clock. South and east, you're going to get that rain probably a little bit before that. This is not a big deal, the rain this evening. But once we get toward midnight and overnight, that's when we could get some downpours. And again, depending on that storm track during the day tomorrow, there could be an isolated severe storm or a tornado. But for the most part, this is just going to be heavy rainfall. And then late in the day tomorrow, toward evening tomorrow, the rain chance really starts to, starts to slow down. So one to three inches of rain in the Richmond Metro. Heavier flooding rain likely down toward uh, the eastern portion of Virginia. Seven-day forecast, first of the weather day tag for tonight and all day tomorrow. The rain chance drops off in a big way for Sunday. Sunday, mostly cloudy, a 20% chance at a shower in the morning. But that is the day to get out. There'll be some cleanup, I think, in particular near, near the coast. And um, some fun to be had. Low 70s with the sun trying to fight its way through clouds. Mondays are verified best of the week. See that tag? And then it's a cool week with lots of clouds. Highs only in the low to mid 70s. I think we could have some showers Wednesday, Thursday of next week. No heat at all to come uh, in the seven day forecast. Looks a lot like fall. Let's head back over to Sarah. All right. Thank